They did. Wow. <laughs> they all died. Yeah, all at once. Oh, boys, the they went. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What up, guys? And welcome back to another one. And as you can tell, we are on the road and it is pouring. And I mean, Pouring rain. Yeah, so we're going hunting with Cameron today, and very, very long story short here is I got up uh, at 4:30 in the morning, looked outside, and it was pouring. It it was raining so hard I could hear it on the roof. So I looked at the radar. I'm like, oh man, there's a ton, and I mean a ton of rain coming. So I text Cameron, which the location I'm driving to is an hour drive an hour drive pouring rain yeah so right now I'm making that drive and contemplating my life decisions um, I'm hoping that we make a hunt out of this um, it's one of those things guys if you tell someone you're gonna be there by God you better be there so that's that's what it is it's like if I was hunting if I was hunting around town or at home where it's pouring I would not be hunting today. It's horrible. You cannot get into fields here, but out west, they're not getting as much rain. So it's an hour west. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Cameron seems to think that the storm is going to go east of his location quite a bit. Uh, we're going to cross our fingers and we're going to see. But either way, it's a full send today. So we're going to make a video out of this one. I'm going to show if it just if, if it gets horrible in the field we're gonna show it so if it's raining and we're hunting i'm gonna have the gopro 5 on my head because it's the only waterproof camera i got so i'm glad y'all are here keep your uh, seat belts a buckle because it might be a rough ride oh well a little update here we just sat well over 200 dozen decoys had to been um uh, yeah completely soaked but full send like I said me and the boys just got it done over 200 dozen we just sat up um, it is absolutely the biggest spread I've sat all season tons of socks socks and silos no full bodies today we are drenched to the bone it's full send boys As you can tell, the camera's soaked. Gonna be having to use the GoPro Hero 5 with Jigaroo. So, hope y'all enjoy because it's still raining cats and doggies out here. They all died. Yeah. All at once. Oh, boys, the pond they pond. went. <laughs> oh.
like shooting boys. Well, those boys did not survive that tragedy. <laughs> I ran out of shot over there. Nice shooting up top though. They did not want to center up properly. Huh? Still killed them. Still killed them. I clicked and clicked and did that and this. Holy mackerel. Well, my gun had a little mishap there. I don't know if she was just soaking wet or what. Go. We've killed some snows finally, boys. Oh, them snows are hard to kill. Kill! There we go. We got some white man on this side, baby. That's all I'm worried about is killing the white, boys. Kill the white. <laughs> oh man, finally, finally killing some snows today. It's been a long time coming. It takes weather long, to get it done. Long, long time since we've got it. Yeah, long time. Most interesting dog in the world. <laughs> Slowest lab I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, so, sorry if this lens is just demolished, but we're all pretty much soggy bottoms McGee's out here. I mean, there's, there's no room left for any moisture in my drawers. But getting into some snows you guys know how long it's been since i've wanted to get into some snows and that's what we're doing today getting into the snow daddy here, there's here finally some it. juvies here we're actually getting a hold of some juvenile snows look at this <laughs> look at that guy juvie oh, 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 look at this. Nice shot. Got the ass. <laughs> yeah, someone got the rear end of that guy. <laughs> There's a lot coming. Holy sh Yeah, they're coming. 
They're coming. Here's the snow's over your right shoulder. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, boys. That's yeah. why we waited an hour without doing a darn thing. <laughs> yeah, they balled up out there, didn't they? They went. Oh, here we go, boys. Oh, guys, don't move behind us. Oh, behind. man. Oh, my God. We got the snows, boys. Oh, yeah. I think we're gonna call it quits. It's like 10:30. The weather really held them off from flying really, really early. As you've seen, uh, there's one roost that's really close to us, within probably a mile, and then all the other birds came from, I don't know, probably a 10-mile flight today. But it's still extremely foggy, still spitting rain on us, and we are all soaked. All my clothes, I'm completely soaked through, head to toe, uh, shivering my butt off for the last probably hour. But here's a spread. I'm at the back of it here, and we literally put out a gargantuan here. Got all the darks up front like usual. But we sat out a mess. Probably a little over 200 dozen. I'm going to walk up front so you can see the darks. Oh, here's the darks. We have a couple family groups way out there. But we have it all at the foot here. Sorry if the uh, lens is all jacked up, but did my best. Bought water all morning. <laughs> What'd you do? What did I do? What did you do? A lot. What'd you do? I made a mess. You did make a mess. Oh, no! No! Yep, finally. Got in some juvies. Whew. Look at them pretty boys right there. Got the old brown tops right there. Oh, yeah. I'm just talking like a man. <laughs> oh, well, we are back at home, obviously. And like always, as I promised, we're going to come back home and we're going to talk about the hunt. Now, mind you that today is January 2nd. So this hunt occurred on December 26th. I got home, I was so wet, so cold to the bone, just from being consistently, constantly wet, soaking through all my Sitka, everything. I was drenched and froze. So when I got out of that hunt, I literally rushed home, jumped in a hot shower, and that was how I warmed up. So now we're closing the video out. Brutal conditions, I've always told you guys. Uh, the snows that are around, the concentration of snows that I usually see, a lot of you probably usually see, most of them are adult snows. Now, it makes them hard to kill. I've told you that, I've described it. Brutal weather conditions are about the only trick to the, of the trade, the trick of the trade, that you can use to intrigue those adult snows to get down low enough to even take a shot at. Now, I know some of the shots that the snows were high, but if you guys have never been on a snow goose hunt, you take high shots all the time. That's why Kansas just upped the bag limit, the daily bag limit, to unlimited on the snows because they want them killed. The adults are so hard to kill, they're not dying by hunting, they're dying only by natural causes. So, a snow goose can live 20 years pretty easily. That is why the federal government, one of the reasons, I'm sure, I don't know all of them, but one of the reasons why they've upped the, upped the amount to unlimited. You can kill as many as you can every single day. High shots on snows, it's always been a thing. Nothing new. The brutal weather conditions, guys, like I've always said, when there's harsh weather, it's going to expose any birds, not just the snows, but the lessers, the specks, the ducks, it's going to expose their vulnerabilities better, even more, it's going to hack them down, because that brutal weather, the rain, the snow, the sleet, the cold, 
their body is telling them, hey man, you need to eat up. You need to get to the food as fast as you can so you can load up on those nutrients so you can survive. That's why we killed 80 birds. Simple enough. So my main thing on this whole video to wrap it up for you guys in a nutshell is don't be afraid to be a non-fair weather hunter. Don't just hunt in the fair weather. If you want to experience some really good hunting and see birds react a lot better and easier to your spread and your calling, get out on some bad days. Dress warm. Wear a poncho if it's going to be raining like I didn't. But get out there and try it, guys. Oh, but thank you for being here, guys. Like always, I appreciate each and every one of you being here. All my new subscribers, I see ya. If you're new to the channel, drop a comment down below. And if you like this video, give your boy a big ol' thumbs up. Now, be expecting some more Foul Fridays coming. Be expecting some trailer updates coming. And an epic hunt. An epic video is on the way yet again. But I do want to thank my boy Cameron at Wing Chaser Outdoors for putting me on another banger hunt. It was a messy one, but thank you, brother. If you guys want to book a hunt with Wing Chasers and Cameron, shoot him a DM right here on Instagram. He'd be glad to talk to you. And it's getting cold out, guys. Go pick yourself up a Ducks beanie. I will link them down in the description below. Go check out the Ducks site if you haven't. I absolutely love being able to provide these waterfowl hunting videos for y'all. I mean, honestly, it's been such a awesome time in my life to be involved with all you guys. And all you guys are actually interested in watching my ugly grill. So I really appreciate it, guys. But we will see you on the next one. Subscribe if you haven't. Beep. Yeah. <laughs>